Hello. I have not posted a video quite a while. For that, I apologize. It's been over a year. Many, many, many changes. Um, starting off with the 65 gallon. It is now on the same wall as the other tanks. It is no longer on the wall behind me. I just moved it a couple days ago, actually. And uh, I have a new chair to sit in. And I thought, well, well it would be perfect And watching all the fish. So lots and lots and lots of platies and shrimp. And I put the white clouds in there since this is a cooler tank. It's a couple of males showing off to each other. What an underrated fish. These guys are awesome. And these are all our platies. We've got some babies growing up and some itty bitties in the foliage. There's crypt there. I ripped out most of the other plants. I do have some North Carolina, sorry, I can't remember what it's called. It's weed. I know that much. I have that in there but I've taken most of the other crypts out because I wanted this tank to be pretty much all algae and lots of shrimp. Lots of good looking shrimp. Well, sort of good looking, they're a bit of a jumble. Yes, I see you, I will feed you in a second. And my new little friends in here, really hard to see. There we go. There are nine coolie loaches in here. Out and about. Actually, I'm surprised they are out and about. Then again, our by shears are supposed to be nocturnal, and they're not. Well, there goes a heebie-jeebie crawling up the glass. Hello, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm glad they're happy in their new home. And they are from Big Al's in London amazing owner amazing people I've bought several fish from them now and every time I get a chance to go into London I have to stop in there a couple new platies as well wherever they're hiding the bright yellow um, they were listed as Pikachu platies and big owls I can't remember what the other name for them is the common name but everybody's pretty happy in this tank and then we'll just slide over to the 90 gallon and there's a cat in my way excuse me kitty cheekers I'm gonna step on your tail cheekers <laughs> he loves his TV we call him this TV not many changes in the 90 gallon other than I took the white clouds out and uh, no more bettas unfortunately we lost our lost our last one <laughs> the builder um, as you can see there's the electric blew a car female in there she was one of five and the other two have paired up the other four so she is in here by herself debating whether get her mail or not we'll see but some changes in the 90s some more wood some more fish I also got uh, a lot more fish again from Big Al's last time I was in London or earlier this year and um, so I have more Pristilla Tetras, of course the Black Neons. Where are they? I have some Candy Cane Tetras. They're awesome. All the Cardinals that I got from Big Al's earlier this year, I bought 12 of them. Every single one has survived. Same with the Glow Lights. And uh, obviously my Tiger Barbs are thriving. The biggest, big, big, big boys are still from three years ago. They're doing great. The plant in the middle is fake. Um, I'm trying to find a red plant that won't die. Haven't had much luck there, but you can see the crypt is doing extremely well. That's uh, Cryptocorn Usteriana, I believe he has today, and of course the Val. The Val in the back's not growing up as much because I made the mistake of clipping it right across instead of on an angle, so it's not growing that well. And I have a cat who is trying to chase his tail. Hi, Noni. That would be nosy. That is Cheekers, originally named Loki, but he does not answer to it. And then, of course, the 75 gallon. Big changes for the 75 as well. Got the one pair. The electric blue Akara. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, hello, kitties. And then Polly and Cyrus. I think they're in the back. The two cynical bikers. Bikers, bikers. 
um, Polly and Tyrus for Polypterus. Ha ha ha. And then I've got some I Spot Rasboras in there. Oh, there's the big girl. Pretty sure it's a she. She is twice the size of Tyrus, but almost a year younger. Hello, darling. And again, this is the 75. And they have laid eggs a few times. And have had fry, but the fry so far have not survived. But I did take the other pair out, so maybe. And then hiding in there somewhere are panda tetras. I... I see one right at the back. And of course, reading up on them, I almost originally got them for the 90 gallon, but apparently they're jerks. So they're in the 75, because what are they going to do? Pick on the Akara? Good luck. <laughs> or the Bishers. They'll end up as food. And then we go over to 55. Some changes there. I don't even remember if this tank is on my YouTube. So. There are 20 zebra danios, and I bought them to be dither fish, because I've got the other Akara pair in there. My beautifuls. And they were hiding a lot, so I got the danios. There is Psycho, the angel. Excuse the glare behind me. And I also have four younger angels in here, three the yellow and Mr. Stripey Dude, wherever he went. Oh, he's over by the heater. And the plants are slowly growing in. Of course, the Akara eat them. So I might go fully fake planted soon. Um, other than the back there on the small sponge filter. Even the Java is not surviving in here well. But I also found out yesterday had a oops. Uh, almost a big oops. I know from the last water change this tank was not like that, but apparently the heater malfunctioned. It was the heater that came with this tank, and even though it was set at 78, I tested the water and it was 95 degrees. Oops. So I did an emergency water change yesterday, and um, I've got a different heater in there now. I have not had any issues with these heaters, had them for over a year now. So I threw this one in, it was a spare. So now the temp is sitting nicely at 78 and I keep coming over to look at it. I keep watching that heater, it is turning off, so that's a good thing. So she's acting a little funky, but she could have been sitting in 95 degree water for two days. Not sure. Um, I do have other thermometers in here, but they weren't showing the actual. And then my little 10 gallon here for now she was having a fungal issue so there's spook in there she will be going back to the big tub with the other three girls very soon they're in the storeroom because it stays nice and cold in there even with the fans running in here it doesn't keep it cool enough for the oxalotls so she's in here temporarily all right and then we're gonna go see the goldfish So the goldfish are still goldfishing, <laughs> still growing. Um, we have a new little friend in here. He was originally in the 10 gallon for a bit to put on some size. There he is. There's a little boggle, the black moor. He's eating fine. Uh, he'll actually swim up and get the, the food. I do put some sinking pellets in there too, just so he can get at them. But he doesn't seem to have an issue and they're not bothering him. So that's a good thing. And I'd show you the oxalotls, but they're in tubs right now, and the tubs are okay. It's just, I'd rather get them some tanks soon, or I'm looking for another livestock tank for this, or even a 300 gallon for the goldfish, and give the oxalotls this one. But, uh, no luck so far. At least finding a used one, and new ones are pretty expensive. So we're waiting, or even if I can get a few, a couple of 40 breeders, something like that. That'll be the next time in the city. So that is all the updates. Nothing much else new to be said. Hello, nosy. Um, fish are doing great. Haven't lost really anybody. Uh, we did lose Panda. He was a koi angelfish. Not actually sure what happened. He went nose up, um, but he didn't develop dropsy. I tried a few meds, and in fact, um, there's still some meds in the water because I've been treating the tank just in case, but um, not sure what happened. And that power strip is there temporarily. We're trying to get a nice shelf for it. And then I'm going to hang the 
air pumps. But yeah, that is the news. Gotta go, somebody just came home.